Good morning, Cardwin. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. 1985 Flea. Ryan Sandberg and Mike Schmidt together. NL Pitcher's Nightmare. The Superstar Special. Fleer did a number of these pairing cards throughout their uh, history of the uh, uh, 80s and early 90s. Um, to, in the National League, two of the most feared hitters are the Phillies' Mike Schmidt and the Cubs' Ryan Sandberg. Of course, they were teammates at one time, so that's kind of a... I'm sure that was a bit of a fun picture for Rhino to take. Um... Schmidt was a you know longtime veteran by then. Ryan just coming off of his uh, awesome season in '84 when the Cubs made the playoffs. So, pitchers nightmare Schmidt and Sandberg. Random baseball item of the day. Coming up on a film award season, so I want to show a couple videos this week. Uh, baseball. I am a baseball collector of all things baseball. One of the collections I have are DVDs of baseball movies. I'm trying to get a DVD of every baseball movie ever. That'll be difficult because a lot of times you don't see DVDs anymore. So anyway, this one was called Sugar. It is a, um, it's really a kind of a bio documentary kind of a thing because it's, uh, it doesn't follow a real person, but, uh, it follows a star from the uh, Caribbean, one of the Caribbean islands, a star pitcher who's trying to make the major leagues. He goes through the, uh, you know, the Dominican leagues, or the, I should say the, uh, whatever Caribbean um, instructional leagues there are. He does really good. Makes it to the majors, or makes it to the minors, I should say. Gets into a little town in the Midwest where he's hosted by a family, and the culture shock is just absolutely overwhelming for the poor kid. Uh, and that's really what it, it's talking about. It's talking about how um, these players who they pull them off of the, uh, you know, the islands and drop them into the culture of America, and a lot of them, I guess, don't pan out. And in his case, he, <laughs> he never went home because, you know, home's just not worth going home to, I suppose ended up somewhere in like uh, one of the inner cities in America in his, in a uh, community of his uh, fellow countrymen playing sandlot ball and making a life for himself. So it was a pretty interesting film. It's baseball related and uh, I was a fan. So that's all. Just showing off a random baseball item for you today. Today's trivia question. The prize I have here since Scott Rowland just got in a Scott Rowland Topps Tech card. Uh, right up, right around when Roland came up, Topps was doing these tech cards. This one from 2003. Um, shows him obviously having just hit the ball and trying to get to first. Don't know if he made it on this particular play. Doesn't matter. It's clearly, he's in a Phillies uniform. I remember hearing him, they interviewed him after he got uh, the notification that he got in the Hall of Fame. Someone was from Baseball Network was interviewing him, and they asked the question, well, which, which cap are you going to go in on? Roland has no love for the Phillies. I'm sorry, he doesn't. He, <laughs> if anywhere, he has a love for the Cardinals. Uh, if he doesn't go in in a Cardinals cap, I would be shocked, to be quite honest with you. I don't think he has any intention of going in as a Philly. So, but he was humble and gracious and didn't speculate at that time. So, this is your prize. Mr. Rowland was a third baseman, obviously. So, in honor of Scott Rowland, name for me, uh, well, since he was a third baseman, name for me the third baseman who won National League MVP in 1986. All right? That's your question. Please email me the correct answer. Uh, my email is in the description below, along with a repeat of the question, and you'll have today and tomorrow to answer, so good luck. We'll pick a winner on Sunday, and you can win that Scott Rowland card. So, all right, today what I want to show off is another set of cards I got off the bay and off of Four Sharp Corners kind of thing for my 1982 Kmart PSA set registry. If you recall, at the end of last year, I had run out of cards on the bay 
that were ones I still needed. I'm just, I just can't find them. I have sent in a set of five cards uh, into PSA. I'm, st I'm waiting to get them back now to see what the grades are. Um, I would love to get 10 because again, they were as clean as I could find from a, you know, gosh, 40 year old set. Um, but I don't know what the grades back and that's always the risk you take when you send it off the PSA. You never know what grade you're going to get. And I'm trying my best. I'm really trying to get all perfect tens on this set. Um, but it's going to be difficult once I start sending in the PSA, but everyone I buy is always a 10. So I got four more for that set. They are the 1967 uh, Cal Ripken, or not Cal, Carl Yastrzemski card. This is his MVP year, it was 67. He was card number 11 of this set. I got the 1973 Reggie Jackson, card number 23 out of that set. 1977 Rod Carew, AL MVP. And lastly, the 1978 Dave Paca. So four new ones that I was able to snag off the bay. Uh, somebody must have been popping up a whole bunch of them recently because I got four at the end of last year and four more just recently, which, you know, that gives me, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I went back and was looking at my, um, I was looking at my goals for this year and I want to get 15 of those cards this year because that'll be two thirds of the set done. Well, I've already got eight out of the 15 and I'm st it's still the first month of January, the first month in January. So um, I'm voting well for that gold for the year, but I haven't done anything on the other two goals this year. So maybe this is a little thing where I, if I crank this out really quick, I can focus the rest of my energy on those other sets as we go forward. We'll see. Anyway, that's all I want to show you show off today. Um, I do have uh, great stuff for you the rest of the week. So please come back. I'm sticking with my theme of um, trying to highlight more sets uh, because RJ does collect sets. And I want to, I just want to, I love sets a lot. And I want to talk about the sets more so than just player cards. I think that's important. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz because I do appreciate your support as I try my best to support everybody else in this great card community. All right. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Come back again for the last two videos. Take care.